Hi everybody, Miss Kate here with a super quick science experiment this week. And it is likely that you have everything at home that you would need to do this one. Um, so what I have here is a glass pie plate. It's empty and dry right now. Um, and I have two markers. We're going to do a little bit of experimenting, I guess. Um, two dry erase markers, excuse me, I didn't specify. A glass of just plain water, tap water, not hot, not cold, and a straw. The straw is not necessary, but it helps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these two markers to draw on the bottom of my pie plate, okay? And we are going to look at what happens when I add the water to them. So I'm going to kind of shift things a little bit here so that you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. Don't mind if you see my house is a mess. It's just what it is. Okay, so first I'm going to use my green one and I'm going to draw a little triangle, all right? Just writing, just drawing in the bottom of my pie plate. Okay, see my little triangle? Now I'm going to draw, I don't know, a square. I'll do a square with my, with my uh, pink one. I'll make that one a little bit bigger. Now, for whatever reason, we can see some differences here. When I hold this up, you'll be able to see. Oh, my marker rolled away. Okay, so maybe it's hard to tell, but when I look at this green one, it looks much more solid. Okay, it's not as see-through as this pink one. It's not as translucent, which means you can see it, but you can see through it too. Okay, so they look a little bit different just from the get-go here. So now what I'm going to do is just add my water and let's watch and see, make sure you can see everything here, and we will watch and see what happens when I add that water, okay? I'm just gonna slowly pour it into the side and hope I don't spill any. Oh, it's working a little bit, not as well as I had hoped. Now, I don't know if you can tell from the picture, but my little square is not a square anymore, and it's also not where it started. Now, this is where the straw comes in handy, because I'm going to move these a little bit more again, so you can hopefully see pretty well. Now, all I'm doing is blowing on top of the water. My straw isn't in the water. It's just blowing across the top. Can you see? My square is moving. It's no longer on the bottom of the pie plate. When I put the water in, it kind of scooped that pink square up, and it's now sitting on top of the water. Okay? Can you see it moving a little bit? It's so hard to see. This is such a cool thing to do, though. So when I was researching this a little bit, I found that um, the, the place where I found it said that uh, expo markers work best, and I only had two good expo markers here at my house. Um, and they said that the neon expos didn't work for them. Now, mine doesn't say it's neon, but I'm wondering if it's just a different color, if it's a little bit thicker. I don't know the difference about why my pink worked and my green did not, because my green did not float. I don't know if you can see, but it is in the exact same place as where it started. Um, now, in a second, I may pause this video, go rinse out my plate, and try to make smaller um, shapes in the bottom of my plate to see if it holds together better. A little bit of science here, but I probably won't use the green one again because that one just has not worked for me. I tested this out before, and the green one didn't work either. So maybe I will go dry this out, start again, and see if our shapes hold together better if they're smaller. Okay, and then we'll talk about why this happens briefly because... Remember, I'm not a scientist. Okay, so be right back. Okay, I'm back with a nice, dry, clean pie plate, and we're gonna do it one more time super quick, just to see if they hold together better if they're smaller shapes, okay? So there's a little triangle, there's a little rectangle, and I'll make a little heart this time too. Let's see how they hold together. All right. There are my shapes. Hard to see, I know. 
I don't have a good background. There, there, you can see them a little bit. All right, now we're just going to do the same thing. Slowly add some water and see what happens. Now, when I was doing a little bit of research, because remember, I am not a scientist. Uh, you can ask my science teachers. I didn't even do very well at science in school. But what I do like is researching a little bit. So what I found was that these markers are what's called insoluble, okay? Now, insoluble means that it cannot be dissolved. So when you put it, put water in on the marker, it floats to the top so it doesn't dissolve. I'll put the link to where I found this information in the comments or, or attached to the video, but you can see again, I don't know if you could see when I poured the water in, but you can see if I blow. There they go again. They did fall apart still. It isn't super clear, but you can see that they are moving on top of the water. We're doing a little dance on top of the water there. So I thought that was a really cool little experiment for this week. Uh, if you might have noticed, I think on the book bingo, I put that we were going to make a lifesaver spark. Well, Surprise, surprise, uh, that science experiment didn't work for me. Um, if I had to guess, my lifesavers had a little too much moisture in them, and so they didn't have that brittle spark that was supposed to happen. So I had to scratch it and find a different one, and I thought this one worked out pretty well anyway. And so this is something you can do at home too if you want to try it. Perfectly safe. Don't drink the water. Make sure it's thoroughly cleaned afterward all of that stuff, but nice and safe and fun and kind of a fun thing you can do. Just dump the water out, draw another one and go at it again. All right. Thanks for stopping by. Have fun. Keep reading and I'll see you soon.